Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Easy, girl. I'm nearly there. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison on the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left. Again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. You 
see anything? There's some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison, we'll shoot you too if you don't get... What business is it of yours? What? We... Oh! It's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me! Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you oh. killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
coming in. Welcome back, Arthur. Road well, girl. Always an old Driscoll. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Well, all you proved is uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. So, no, it ain't like that. I, I, uh, I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch food. But, um, <laughs> I'm watching you. I didn't hear nothing, but looks like you got shot off pretty bad. Oh, man. Them calendar boys? <laughs> they were something else. This camp could do with a few improvements. Now? Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Well, I'll miss them. <laughs> Me too, big man. Me too. Too bad. Hey. The world's too bad, big man. I'm keeping my eye out for some good material. Boys. <laughs> Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. Fine, but make sure you get a good price Thank for you, it. But answer me this. If Miller is a fraud, is he an honest fraud? The well, way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, those unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He, he writes with incredible beauty. Yes. <laughs> he's very ornamental. As my uncle would say. And your uncle? What was he? He was a slave. Most educated man in his county. But a slave. Miller writes about men like him. Uh, Miller's a slave to... A slave to pretty words and empty phrases, but he don't understand. You are too harsh a critic. Look, you're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of... Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. That we have, Reverend. Have a fine.